checking this one, which is empty. So it should be like, it's zero. Therefore, if it is zero and this is empty, as per the thing, um, if it is empty, consider the direction to be vertical. If it is solid, horizontal. Whereas if mod 15 comes back as zero, that means it's non-collidable. So if it is non-collidable, that means it comes back as zero, which would mean it's false. So it's got to do the else. So really, the solution to this whole problem and the explanation for why this problem showed up recently is what I needed to do this whole damn time was that. <laughs> I think we solved it! That, that's the change. That's the fix. I think. I'm 90% I'm sure that that is the fix. Let's... Actually, we'll leave that in. It's no harm. The, like, well, this is the thing. This is what helped us isolate it, was the fact that it was doing... It wasn't like, oh, sometimes it's getting it right and sometimes it's getting it wrong. Once we finally found a way to reproduce it, everything becomes easier. Everything becomes easier the moment you can actually just reproduce what's going on. That's why it's so important to know exactly how to make a bug happen, right? That's why, that's why I always ask when people are reporting bugs, and stuff, like, how did you get this to happen? Um... Like, it's, it's no use to be able to just tell me what the bug is. Hey, thank you for the sub, Guff. For the resub, even. And now you're seeing the messages are coming up in the console window, but you notice we're not getting the bug anymore. It's getting collision zero. Yeah, I can explain what's wrong. So. The issue I was having was that every now and again, um, when we got a diet, certain collisions in the game, like you can see every time uh, we collide, like when we do the sphere thing, you can see the little hit spark comes out and it shows you what direction you hit the block from. Every now and again, that spark was coming out the wrong side, um, which in and of itself is fine. That's just a visual effect, but it was coming out the wrong side because it was actually detecting the wrong side, which means that I would like hit a ground down here and it would think I'd be attached to the side of this block and therefore the spear would rotate the wrong way it would just it would all be totally wrong and it would be a big issue for like bouncing on things because it would cause you to bounce in the wrong direction and stuff like that cause really unpredictable things it was super annoying and it was really hard to reproduce I couldn't work out how to get it to happen so I could work out why why my code was doing this because as far as I understood my code it, it should work just fine but we managed in here to find a location where I could reproduce the book. And it was always in between. As I suspected it was, even though I couldn't quite get it right. I suspected it was to do with um, diagonals. So when I hit from a perfect diagonal, um, so I'm going from this block into this block. The only way to do that is to go right through the diagonal of this tile to that tile. So it's a very rare situation. Um, has to, like it can't go like if it comes from here it's fine if it comes from here it's fine but if it comes from this tile the only way for it to do that is to go perfectly diagonal right now I knew about that I knew about that when I wrote the code which is why I wrote this um, in the first place which um, what this used to do <laughs> thing is we changed it recently and this is what broke it we um, we check to see if it's a perfect diagonal. We know if it is based on these values, right? Don't worry about that. We, we know based on whether, based on if it came from that tile, we know it was a perfect diagonal. It wasn't the one below, wasn't the one to the side. It was 145 degrees away. Um, and if that's the case, we just needed to pick vertical or horizontal correctly. The way we did that was deciding like, uh, with a, the tile in the horizontal column was empty or not. So in this situation, it was about checking this tile. Okay, so like in here, it's about checking whether this tile was solid or not. And the same if you're coming from above, it'd be like, check this tile, right? And if this tile was solid, it meant you had a wall that looked something like this. 
So um, you could say like, oh, okay, this is definitely a horizontal collision. And if it was empty, it meant you had something that looked like this. And so we can say, oh, it's a vertical collision. If they were both empty or they were both solid, it doesn't really matter. We just have to pick one or the other. Because if they're both empty and you've done this, um, in this case, I, I think, I don't know, I can't remember what it is, but we'll say, oh, it's empty, therefore um, it would be vertical. So we would do like this or whatever, right? We'd make a spark like that and we'd consider it a vertical one. It doesn't matter. We just had to pick one, right? Um, the same for if like they were both solid and we just pick it and we just like, okay, it's horizontal then. Like I didn't care what came out then. But we were, it was it was coming out wrong. And the thing is, we did this code originally correctly and we were working this out and we didn't have this bug. This bug showed up recently and because it's a very rare thing, it, it was hard to notice that it was happening and so on. But the thing is, I changed this because this used to just say equals one, I think. So if it's just true, like, which is to check if it's like solid or not. Um, and that was based on e the collision tiles, which look like, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. T tile call or something. What's it? Tile. Oh, it's this one, right? So it's like, if it's zero, it's this empty tile. And if it's any of these others, it's solid, right? And we got down to here, but I implemented this thing recently, which is a one-way platform, which I also wanted to count as not solid. So we replaced all the code that dealt with like solid things. Instead of just checking to see if they were zero or one, we checked to see if they were mod 15, which is a clever way of saying like every 15th tile will come back as zero, right? Um, there'll be some positive number until you get to 15 then it's zero. So it's like zero, counts all the way 15 then it's zero again, counts up and then it's zero again. I was being clever, all right? Um, and because I was being clever though, we swapped this around when actually we kind of inverted the condition and essentially swapped this from true, being checking if something is true to checking if it's false or rather false to check, I can't remember. One of those ways around. Um, meaning that this was doing the opposite of what we wanted it to do. So every time we got one of those diagonal collisions from that point onwards, after making this change, we got the opposite of what we wanted, which was like, whenever we did this, it would, it would give us a, a vertical one. And whenever we did this, it would give a, a horizontal one. Whenever we did this, it would give us a vertical one and it would look dumb. But I didn't realize it actually happened that infrequently as well, so I was assuming it was just sometimes not working. And every time I tried to reproduce it in the game, I'd be like stabbing down at the ground like this and be like, no, no, it seems to be working okay. Because I would underestimate how precise you would have to be to get the diagonal to happen. And it's only when I managed to reproduce it here, we could eventually work out by putting those debug messages in that it wasn't just sometimes the diagonal was getting wrong, it was every time. And since it was every time, it meant the issue was definitely with this line of code. It had to be. this Because this is what decided whether or not it was this or this. Nothing else did, right? It had to be with this line of code. So then we run it through in our head and we say, what does this do? And then we eventually realize that it is producing the opposite output of what we want. And so in order to fix the bug, we just invert the condition by putting a not on the start of it. Ta-da! We fixed the bug. <laughs> I didn't think that would take as long to explain as it did, but you can see why, like, even though it seems like, oh, we just had to put an exclamation mark there, like, there's a, there was a whole journey to getting there that was sort of unavoidable. And uh, that's just how it is. I don't know, maybe I can highlight this and we can, I, um, I might put it on YouTube or something, we can talk about that as the bug. Um, I don't know if maybe if that was a good explanation or not. We'll, we'll see later. Maybe I'll, I'll highlight it and I'll put it on. Like, these things are hard to find. They're very, very hard to find. The key, generally, is that you've got to, like... And the, what made it hard to find was it being difficult to reproduce. Because it's like you're stabbing at the ground here, and I'm like, uh, it's not happening. I can't get it to happen. If I can't get it to happen consistently, it's really, really, really difficult to narrow down what part of this code 
<laughs> that is dealing with the collisions that happen with my spear could be causing the problem. But the moment we get it consistent, we narrow it down massively. And then we start putting in debug messages around the different places that are doing the things and to, to make sh to, to, to kick back messages to us to see if how we understand it's working. How how we understand it is how it's actually working. Um, and then we can narrow it down even further. And we eventually narrowed it down to one line. And then we can just sit, we can think about that line, rubber, you know, rubber duck it, which is to just, you know, essentially like, you know, you're explaining it out loud as if you're talking to a rubber duck, right? That's, that's what's called rubber ducky programming or whatever, right? You, you, you know, it, like you, you take a toy or something and it's like, explain your code to the dog, all right? And then, you know, by explaining it out loud, you're like, oh, and therefore it doesn't work. Um, <laughs> yeah. And that's how you fix 